If you still playing about the Lord, wake up. If you still look warm, wake up. You cannot just say, oh, I'm saved. I go to church on Sundays. I'm saved. We cannot be lazy about these things. When it comes to God, we cannot be lazy. We have to do the work of God. We have to be as close to Jesus as possible. that I again in my last video I told you guys that I'm going to start sharing all my dreams that the Lord has given me for the past few years months and weeks last videos that I posted were about the coming of Jesus and 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 all that stuff and you're probably wondering hmm where are all these dreams coming from how she getting them back to back it's not that I've been having them back to back I've been having them for the past few years and there has been gaps in between it has been like years in between months in between weeks in between i just now decided to share them with the world because i think god gave me those dreams for a reason and it's my job to come and tell you guys uh what i have been seeing in my dreams this is happening to millions of people in the world and they have been posting their dreams and all that stuff what the lord has been telling them and i think it's very important and we have to um obey what he wants us to do and say the world is going crazy and this is like a wake-up call for everybody and it says in the bible that when the end times are coming he will start giving people dreams visions and revelations and all that stuff and i think this is happening right now because i have never seen anything like this there's so many people on youtube posting that they have visions dreams and encounters with jesus and, and, and signs and all that stuff and i'm so happy that i am able to like be a messenger of God and tell you guys what he has been showing me. So a few years ago, maybe like two or three, I had a, my first rapture dream. Um, in the dream, I was walking in a place that looked like Times Square, where it's like a lot of people back and forth, back and forth, but it was like a lot of people and out of nowhere, um, the city just turned into chaos. Like I was standing there in a scene, I wasn't scared, like I wasn't in the chaotic crowd thing but I was there and I was standing and I remember seeing people just the world going crazy like running and it was a lot of chaos going on and then I remember people saying Jesus is coming Jesus is coming the rapture is happening the rapture is happening I just got scared like always in a dream and then boom I woke up but the dream that I just had a few weeks ago maybe two weeks or three weeks ago um, it was really, really, like, a wake-up call to me. It was, like, scary because in the dream, we were going through the coronavirus situation. We were going through quarantine. We were, we were going through that. We were still at home quarantining, however you say that. We were still quarantining at home. Um, but in the dream, I remember walking. We were in a park. We were having a church service in the park. Um, but I was, I, I didn't know that that was going on. I was just walking and I realized that there was like a little, you know in the park how they be having like a little thing, like a little thing that you can sit down with your family and barbecue and all that stuff. Like a little, you know, English is not my first language, so don't judge me. You know, like little things, you know, that you can sit under, like with a roof and, and, and all the stuff. And it was a party going on. And when I go there, I don't remember what I seen on the door, but it had like a name on the door. And I seen like a lot of youth, like a lot of young people was there. And everybody was like, everybody knew that it was quarantine time and people were supposed to be social distancing and all that stuff. But inside of that place, it was so much joy. It was so much love and no fear at all. And, every, and I remember somebody saying like, this is the only party that is allowed or this is the only celebration that is allowed during the quarantine. Like this is the only thing that is supposed to be happening. And it was like, a party but for the Lord it was a party a celebration for God and so full it was so full of people from everywhere all races all nationalities all types of people um, but mainly I seen the youth and I was like so happy I wanted to go in there and, and party and celebrate too but it was like too full so I was like let me keep walking so I walk back and I seen that there was an actual church service outdoors like right on the grass by it was like on the side of a lake in the river and it was like a lot of people there so I went there and I like 
came close to them. I remember the the pastor was Prophet Ed Citronelli, which I watch on YouTube. He's from New York, and I went to his service. Like back in March, I went to one of his services in Philadelphia for uh, a crusade that was going on. So he was the preacher. He was the preacher there, and it was like a lot of people. I don't remember their faces or who they were or whatever, but it was like a lot of people. I remember also seeing before the rapture happened, I remember seeing that when the preacher was preaching, um, I remember my eyes got open to the spiritual world, and I was seeing angels and fallen angels, demons, fighting in the spiritual realm. I see them in the spiritual realm fighting. I see how the fallen, the fallen angels or, or demons were being defeated in the air. They were falling in slow motion. I remember seeing it in slow motion. They were falling down after they got defeated. And I remember trying to tell the people, like, look, there's something going on. When the preacher, when, when S.T. Valley was preaching, I, and my spiritual eyes got open, I seen the fight in the spiritual realm, how the demons and the, the angels were fighting. I seen it. And then when I said that, I looked at the pastor, and I could see his spirit. He was praying, but I could see his spirit fighting also in the spiritual realm, like his spirit left him, and he was fighting in the spiritual realm. With this against these demons and these principalities and all that stuff. After I seen all of that happen, and out of nowhere, out of nowhere, okay, I look up and I see the those all of those people were raptured. Like they, I seen them up in the sky. They were floating, like going up. They were leaving in the sky. They had like. Like their bodies were not normal bodies anymore. Their bodies were like different colors. Like I can't even explain. Like, and they didn't look like souls. They didn't look like flesh. They didn't look solid anymore. They look like, like see through a little bit, but they had like beautiful colors. And they were just going up in the like in the air, like slowly they were going up. I was like, what? That's the rapture. And I was there just looking at them going up and I was like why am I still here like they got from the floor fast they got up from the floor fast but when they were in the sky like in, in the air I could see them going up in slow motion and I could see their body was like different colors and like just you know it was unexplainable the main uh the main message is that I seen these people get rapture I seen the church celebrating in the middle of all these things that's going on, I've seen the people of God was still celebrating, I've seen the people of God was still praising God, the people of God was not letting this demonic virus, it is a demonic thing that's happening with this virus thing. No sickness is of God, and whatever, all that stuff as you can see, it's affecting the whole world. This is a demonic virus, this is a man-made demonic virus. It's not of God, but the Lord is going to do something, and I have faith He's going to do something, and He's going to help all everything that's happening. Um, but yes, this people got rapture. I had two rapture dreams in my life, and the rest was like the coming of Jesus, and um, I also went into Jesus' grave before in my spirit, in my dream. I'm going to share that too. But yeah, the Lord is coming. We have to get closer to Him. I'm trying my best to get us closer to him as possible everything is happening it's obvious if you are not getting woken up wake up if you are still playing about the Lord wake up if you still look warm wake up you cannot just say oh we're safe I'm safe I go to church on Sundays I'm safe I got baptized I'm safe yes we are saved by grace and by faith but we have to do the work of the Lord there is Certain things that the Lord expects from us. Not because we just say it means we are saved. Not because da 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 we are saved. We cannot be lazy about these things. When it comes to God, we cannot be lazy. We have to do the work of God. We have to be as close to Jesus as possible. Because He's coming. And He's coming soon and nobody knows when He's coming. But everybody's getting dreams and visions. Like He says in the Bible that when the times are closer, He's going to do that. And He's doing it now. So we have to wake up. To wake up. And I'm going to make a next video because this one is getting a little longer. 
that I wanted. Um, but yes, I just wanted to share that dream with you guys. And I see you guys on the next video. Praise the Lord. I have a channel that is just for things of the Lord. So you can go and subscribe. I'll put the link below. Um, yes, I see you guys later. Bye.